And you're probably wondering why I did not port Black Ops 4 in a piece of fucking game. Shit. I should have done that. Fucking shit. Black Ops 4 is probably the worstest thing to ever happen in zombies. I'm gonna start. Alright, but on a serious note, to all the subscribers that uh, have been there, you know zombies made my channel and it's just ended on such a shit note. It just feels like that zombies should have not been rushed like black ops 4 in my opinion black ops 1 2 to 3 are worth they're not even worthy you know force hammer black ops 4 is not even worthy to be in it fucking out of that game how are you gonna get rid of the jug but anyway this is not a random video this is a farewell goodbye to call of duty zombies this is a clip from try it's not a clip it's a final 30 minute video from Treyarch, they made it themselves. It's it's the crew saying goodbye. On a huge night, they had me in tears. So I feel like I can't have to upload this because I'm part of that zombies crew, uh, fucking community, and it's gone. It's just a joke how it ended. I hope you enjoyed this video, and goodbye, zombies. Hello, I'm Craig Houston, lead writer at Treyarch, and welcome to our very special video today, where I'm going to introduce you to some. Exciting guests. We have Steve Blum. Hurrah! We have Nolan North. Hello. We have Tom Kane. Hi. And Fred Tatishaw. Hey, where is my vodka? <laughs> so, if it wasn't already clear, this is our wonderful Primus and Ultimus voice cast that we have enjoyed spending time with for the last 10 years. So, guys, thanks for coming. Uh, I think we should just move through a little bit chronologically. The early days, World at War, over 10 years ago. Steve, I believe you might have been one of our first generic Marines, and we quickly discovered that you couldn't tell who was who. Guys, any memories of those very early days and what it was like trying to find these characters? It was such a long time ago. I know. I know. I don't think I actually spoke. Everything was yelled back then. Mm -hmm. that, that Hi, was, honey, I'm home! Yeah. That's, that's where we started. We were really rowdy. I remember yeah. I was as drunk as I could be. It was <laughs> yeah. like crazy. The, yeah, yeah. Th those were the early defining characteristics. Yeah. And, and at that point, the characters, it was mostly really just gameplay lines. They weren't really yes. that invested yeah. in the story, correct? And Maxis for me was a big thing because then I, I started to understand. Wow. Um, yeah. That, that, that's something that we'll definitely need to talk about yeah. a little bit later because you're, you're not just your regular characters. And no. they're very Various incarnations, but you know, by the end of World at War, we'd really establish you guys as a, a fun little crew, and we mm -hmm. went into Black Ops One, where things went a bit crazy. Do you remember <laughs> getting the Earth blown up? Getting oh, the, the Earth, yeah, yeah, blown yeah. up, yeah, 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 absolutely. I just remember that that Dr. Richthofen had you kind of. I don't know if like they, they didn't. They took me off the leash, so to speak, mm -hmm. where I was able to just turn him into uh, a yeah. deviant. A deviant. Yeah. I, I, I think there were a lot of people who had uh, a few of my lines as their their uh, outgoing voice messages. <laughs> no, I know I do. Ringtones. Still. Uh, yeah. uh, <laughs> and, and I remember there were some, some lines that didn't make the game that uh, I think uh, Treyarch and Activision employees were using. Um, the, the, uh, there have been some pretty strange ad-libs along the way. Mm -hmm. um, but I, again, just starting at the beginning, you know, your, your characters then, um, they were fairly straightforward, shall we say, yes. Tom, particularly you, Takio. What was, what was Takio like in the early days? Well, very cartoony. I think that's the important thing to remember about Takio is that everyone's character was kind of treated with the same broad strokes yes, in, the in the beginning. I mean, I, I, the, the idea of a drunk Russian, Fred, yes. did that come easy Talking. to you? It was very easy, it's like method, but uh, no, it was, uh, it was, it was broad, broad strokes, and I remember it was, we were going a little more for the comedy too. Yep. You know, that oh, was a yeah. part of it. I, yeah. I think that was that was also a really big part of why Dempsey became so popular yeah. early on. He had a lot of the kind of, as well as badass lines, he had a lot of goofy, funny ones. You know, things about even a blind squirrel is right twice a day. Yeah. Yeah. Just, <laughs> I mean, American stuff that made no sense at all. Didn't make yeah. it, but that's I, your fault. Yeah. That's not somehow, my fault. Squirrel. somehow it works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think the one that people probably remember most from Dempsey is when he, he broke the fourth wall yeah. and, and addressed the player yeah. directly. Drop the chips! What was it? Hey, player, drop the chips and give me some ammo. That's the yeah. one. That, yeah, one, yeah, that yeah. one's still good. Really? Yeah. You know, we, when we go to conventions oh, and stuff, people, people still go, 
that's my favourite line. And I go, so we've not done anything better in <laughs> 10 years. No. <laughs> um, you have peaked, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so, so, so we went through those early war. days of World at War and Black Ops 1 and <clears throat> the Earth got bit blown up. Mm -hmm. And you guys went on a, a slight hiatus. We had a different crew running around on the Broken World, although Richtofen was still around talking into the head of poor Samuel Storlinger. That's right, because I need the work. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Fred very is nice that you would let me come and get in Sammy's head. Yeah. <laughs> and, you, and you stayed there for a long time. <laughs> yes, I did. Uh, you're time. still there, actually. Yeah. And, and Fred, obviously, you mentioned earlier, you were Max's. He, yes. stayed, stayed, he was part of that story through like, Black Ops. He's too. like the Renfield that got away. Yeah. You know, my little, my little <laughs> assistant who just was like, why is he so stupid? Why is he doing this? Yeah, and it was. It was frustrating for Max. Well, yes. that kind of leads us into what we now know as premise, because towards yeah. the end of Black Ops 2, we brought you guys back, but we brought you back in a different way because you were in Origins and you were in World War One and you're dealing with giant robots and crazy stuff. But like all you of you guys, we just tried to ground you a little bit more and try and give you a little bit more personality. Do you want to each talk about that shift from crazy to more serious start with you Steve it was nice having 30 percent more brain cells that is, <laughs> <laughs> me I about. almost understood what I was talking about it was, yeah it, it allowed for a little more nuance uh -huh. instead of everything being out here all the time I got to actually pull it in and have real conversations and that, that, that was a my big throat part. thanks you for that yeah, so, that, yeah I think we are all grateful that we don't need to shout at the same level yeah, consistently. Yeah. I, I, I loved it because it was you know he was to me he was so zany and over the top yeah uh, and to actually bring him back to something real. It's almost like the cartoon version, uh -huh. the real life version yeah. of what was cartoony came, right. came out. And you know, some really interesting material and, and which led to some, some great moments. I think, I think part of the, you, it was definitely a struggle for you at the beginning because you enjoyed being so insane. Um, but I think what happened is when, particularly with the grounded Richtofen, you started to feel the kind of weight of the world on his shoulders and yeah. you, you, I think you empathized with him in a, like a him. different way. Yeah, yeah and, and I think I think if, if you know, you're playing that same note of the zany for, I think that would just uh, tire on, did, on, on people. But it didn't make me hate myself for loving you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tom, Takio, as we mentioned earlier, started off very much as a bit of a cartoon. Oh, so yeah. It's, it's been just really gratifying actually to see how all of these things have evolved i mean just even just reading their lines yeah and and just reading the scripts i'm like you can see it as time has gone by that i mean suddenly he's likable there's yeah, there's yeah. this well he, don't go too he has no. he has <laughs> well but One i mean but, but i mean about Richtofen. Hello. Yeah, right, right. Oh, no, 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 no 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 but yeah i mean and and uh, Gattacchio, um in many ways, I think, did evolve at least as much, maybe more so than some of the other characters, because he was so cartoony. I mean, it is, same yeah. with you. But, yeah. but uh, where he is now, mm -hmm. uh, he's a person. Yeah. You know, he's got depth and he's got emotions and he's, you know. Just saying, Dr. Monty once said, the order in which you experience things isn't uh, necessarily the order in which they happen, which right. is definitely true of our oh, story. Oh, yeah, wow. true of this yeah. game. You know, there you go. Fred, More than ever. Just, just to go with the differences, no. we made Nikolai stop drinking, yes. really, when yes. we made him into premise, so that was... Absolutely. Yeah, well, it was, we just got, you made Fred stop drinking. So. <laughs> that, that was both was hard. But <laughs> I tell you, no. It, what I loved is just seeing how the characters became who they were. Uh -huh. So for me, if it's drunk, Nikolai is crazy. By the time we, when we met him originally, yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like actually he was a fully functional soldier that yeah. had a lot of heart and a lot of pain. Alcohol like your guy you. follows a code. Right, you know, yeah, he's a yeah. real serious yeah, warrior. Yeah. And like and you were a scientist, you know, and you're just always I'm a marine. Bad. You're no, a marine. Care. Hoorah, you know. Hoorah. So it was really neat to see Nikolai as a real caring guy who yep. loved his wife ho horribly and misses well, her. Well, that kind and, of yeah. That brings us on to Not you know, my eighth wife. One all of, made up. One of the most <laughs> one of the most fun topics uh, for the entirety of Black Ops 3 was the recurring theme of death. <laughs> yes. Death, death, death. Um, as you just described, we learned a little bit more Nikolai mm -hmm. when we went to Stalingrad to recover his soul. That was so much of it. Steve, right. you, you were Dempsey was the first character to go through that experience. And it was a, a big shock to players when they found out that they were having to kind of 
kill off versions of their beloved character. As much as a, a shock, shock to, to me. you as well. Yeah, I don't think I found out till that day. <laughs> it's the best yeah. scenes though. We, we've uh, done uh, that a few times. Scenes. So I mean, yeah. Nolan, we're going to talk about you in a minute. Cause, okay. Because through that. Through that Black Ops 3, we pulled a little bit of a switcheroo. Oh, yeah. Richtofen was telling everyone, hey, you saw me shoot myself in the giant, I collected my soul, you've got to do all this. But we later found out that that wasn't quite true. So we got the emotional scenes of Steve dying with dignity, thank God he was asleep, otherwise he would have put up a fight. Mm -hmm. Takio, honour, yeah. very respectful, yeah. nice send off. Poor drunk Nikolai fought till the bitter end because of all his pain, as he said, some it's things are forgotten for a reason, but and then, Nolan, Richterman kind of got out of a little bit up until recently, because what we learned through Black Ops 3 is that he was trying to keep everyone alive by cheating Dr. Monty, and that was why you were going to be trapped in a perpetual cycle. Mm -hmm. But when it came to the map Blood of the Dead on Black Ops 4, yep. well, uh, Richterman finally paid the price, shall we say. And I think, I don't know if you guys ever saw the full finished version of this, because you love Richtofen so much, I thought it might be worth actually just looking at that scene again. I wish I could tell you I was sorry, Edward. But I'm not. No. No, you can't help me. You're a doctor. Wait. Don't you know who I am? I have been witness to miracles or calamities. Dimensions born would collapse. I walk a path no other can take. No! I want to be me. Someone who can also hard work! It's me. Most faces are. You won't even remember. I remember I, nice. the, the craziest thing nice. about that that scene is the the fan reaction. That I, mean, was I think the last time we went, my I mean, next question. there were um, I think I saw a blow up on Twitter and, and different social media, and I think when I next session I saw you, uh -huh. we pulled up all these things where people were like crying. It was like I, I, I was the nicest one, and you won't even remember me. And it was just this. <laughs> and, and it was yeah. just, and it just, it, I mean, talk about the evolution of a character, just where people, I mean, he's zany, ridiculous, over the top, to something that can actually, you know, get, have that emotional response to people. So I was like, wow, that was, I mean, and you know, kudos yeah. to you, it was, it was yeah. really well written. Really really well written. It, was, it was fantastic, well, so. You should do this for a living. I, I <laughs> <laughs> you should. I'm actually thinking of getting into a little bit of voice acting. Well, you, yeah, you're not, he's not I, bad at that. I mean, no, no, that's what people don't voices. understand. He can do everybody. He does every one of our voices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> It's very good. You don't even need us. Uh, no, I do. You know, you're I said that on camera. <laughs> did I just say oh, that on camera? No, did. Actually, oh, hang on. Can we just... No, uh, so I mean, uh, talking about fans, Steve, did you get a, a similar reaction when, when people saw what happened to, to that incarnation of Dempsey? I did. I'm still a little verklempt from what I just saw, yeah. but yes. Uh, yeah, I did. I did. It was, it, it was disturbing and profound and very unexpected. I think, and for me personally, and for the fan, <laughs> yeah. fans. Tom, yeah. you, 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 I know for a fact that you, the, the, having the two Takios speak the amount that they did, yes. that, that, was probably the, that was probably the biggest dialogue sequence oh, yeah. between an old and a, yeah. A, yeah. A, a new version of Primus and Ultimus. No, it was, uh, I, I, I've done a lot of different things, but rarely have I done a, a specific scene mm -hmm. that people reference. They yep. come up to me, I mean, I'll be signing something for a, another character at another event, and they want to talk about Takio. I'm like, well, I'm not here to, they, they don't care. They want to talk about that scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 
Right. Yeah, same thing. Same thing. The whole dialogue between what Nikolai says to Nikolai. Yeah. Like that you are, sorry, you are beyond this. You know, you are too much pain. I, th I think and the yeah. thing that, that, that really made it for me, what for me is, you know how we were saying earlier, so much of it early on was humor. Mm -hmm. And just jokes, and the character's not super in depth. So to manage to get to that point mm -hmm. where you're actually making people care on that level was, which was something I'm immensely proud of. Everyone on the. Oh, yeah, it was my favorite yes. thing to do. It was my favorite thing to do practically. It's a huge compliment to all of us. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and again, the fans just really responded to that. They always bring it up. It's yeah. amazing. Uh, by, always. It, it, you can never t tell exactly what things are going to resonate because you know something we've talked about is a lot. It's over ten years we've been doing that. I reckon each of you, as your respective characters must have done over 15,000 lines, just as yes. those characters. Mm -hmm. Probably. So when people say, hey, do you have a favorite line? Yeah. You've got a lot to choose from, mm -hmm. and your memory recall is probably not even going to allow you to. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah. Um, but that's why I think it does resonate so much with the fans, because if they've sat through 15,000 lines, <laughs> mm -hmm. they've spent immense amounts uh -huh. of time with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, with that's you. true. So, And rarely do you get to explore a character that way of, of having two of you yeah, yeah. <laughs> talking to each other. You get a real interesting look at what that person's soul is. I mean, that, yeah. that, that's always the challenge because so many of the lines are based around categories of like, you know, you get a particular gun or you kill a zombie and mm -hmm. trying to find new ways after all this time. I'm amazed that it's not harder than it is mm -hmm. for all of us. And mm -hmm. I think it shows the love that we all yeah. Have for these characters. Monkey bombs were always a favorite oh, character. Oh, yeah. Still the I monkey, love monkey bombs. bombs. Yeah. Yeah, he just keeps on smiling, but he, and he goes. He knows he's going to go boom. <laughs> yeah. That's why he I'm going to miss you, little monkey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he is like uh, Soviet bear. Yeah. <laughs> There's a few of them stick in my mind. One of yours that I think I said at a launch event the other year was, "Remember your training, monkey. And you'll be fine." <laughs> See, I don't need to be. I, See, I, 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 and, it's, and it's like Nikolai had a. That wasn't a real monkey, was it? Because right. yeah. he has sort of <laughs> Stockholm syndrome with it. it he like hates the monkey. He did. hates the monkey, and then by the end, he's like, it all "The monkey evolves. died well." Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. Leave I have fans. I have fans that, uh, at different conventions, things that tell me that they will purposely drop like uh, a gun just so they can hear Rick Dove and say, it's stabby time, with the knife. <laughs> and he would find a knife. And I, 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 the other one I always liked was the, the monkey and then the box. Yeah. Why do you box. torture me, oh, box? Yeah. So when yeah. you give yeah, him something terrible? terrible. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just, I, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but this was like originally slated just as maybe just a one off, see how yeah. it was going to yeah. be. Pretty and much. here we are 10 years later. It, just, it has it, everything in it. It's, it's like people really <laughs> like it, which is, is a great position to be in. I mean, something else that I think people know you're mentioning earlier, Fred. You guys play a lot more than just your regular characters in, in these mm. games as well. I mean, Fred, you mentioned Dr. Maxis. Mm -hmm. He's been one of the constants. I this mean, is how I've understood what was happening, actually. That's true, because he's very yeah. much... He's has an exposition. You know, yeah, it's you know, this these is another dimension we will find, <laughs> and then Rick Toffin will go through it. You know, like, yes, yep, yeah. Yep. Yep. You know, that actually works out in a good way, because, you know, the, you never want to give away story. You yep. never want to tweet yep. something or tell say something in an interview. I have no idea over the last decade what the hell's going on. No, neither. And, Same and, here. and, and it's, it's, it's saved me from making There's a terrible a mistake. There's a punch yeah. machine. <laughs> you know, yeah, right. Yeah, no. Juggernog. Yeah. 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 Oh, see, that's my. I love the Juggernog. I love yes. Juggernog. Suck that stuff down. <laughs> so <laughs> good. Just <laughs> take a tug on the Juggernog. This well, I don't remember that. that no, it says it on the cooler. Why does that sound oh, dirty? Right. Okay. I it just, does. Because sometimes I didn't the make lines, this up. They did it. <laughs> sometimes the lines we come up with are already in a pretty dangerous place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, sure. And and some of the ad libs, uh, <laughs> Nolan. You know, you you make his end. I plead. You? The, I'm I plead, shocking. I plead the fifth. I am shocking. <laughs> Can't imagine. I am shocking. The one, Give me a deviant moment. German, and you don't expect me to ad lib. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, good. Do you know what? It one it of my doesn't. favorite things, if, if we, I guess you can consider an ad lib, is the fact. And you let this go. In, probably early in recording, I never, I always called him Takeo. Yeah. Yes. And everybody, Takeo. And, Takeo. and, 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 then, and I met people say, you know his name's Takeo, Takeo, right, Takeo. And they're like, Takeo, Takeo. And, then, and we would, and, there, and I remember Craig was like, no, let him say it the way he wants to yeah. say it. Yeah. Oh, who, who says Richtofen then? I don't Rick know. Richtofen is not Just for you. Someone says Richtofen. Ask your Just doctor you. about Richtofen. <laughs> <laughs> Richtofen may call. Side effects may, Side include, effects may include death. Explosive so, diarrhea <laughs> and monkey bombs. Nationalism. Yeah, right. I mean, obviously. Nationalism. <laughs> 
he's going to go with anal leakage. <laughs> and he went with, and he went with nationalism. <laughs> <laughs> Much smarter. I, I was I was literally going to ask you if you have any memorable moments of recording any <clears throat> funny bloopers or anything, but then I just realised this is actually you just doing what you do yeah. in the yeah. studio right now. Yeah. It's always been fun, hasn't there, it? Yeah. There was yeah. one, there was oh, one it was, session. It. it was one session years ago where Tom wasn't wasn't available, but yep. they, they made the terrible mistake. It happened once and yes. only yes. once, where they put the three of us in, and I think that's the first time, I may have ad-libbed this, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah. but he said something, he said like, all right, dictaphon, like that, and I said <laughs> something, I hate you, Dempsey. Out of nowhere, yeah. and that became a recurring. Yeah. Oh, that is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. That, so I will sign pictures. That, like, at, I hate your at, at conventions, we'll be signing down the row from each other, uh -huh. and invariably, one of the fans will come up with a poster that says, I hate you, Dempsey. <laughs> and, and I have to sign right after that. <laughs> right back at you. So each map, we usually do probably like three sessions, I think, but for Alpha Omega, where you were both Ultimus and Primus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did a lot more. That that was a big challenge. Steve, do you remember that session? That was a fun session. Thousands wasn't it? and thousands of lines <laughs> going yes. back and forth between yeah. Ultimus and Primus was yep. a, a really interesting challenge. It's great to do that. It yeah. was. It was yeah. I, found, I thought it was so much. fun. It was yeah. so much fun. But all yeah. of us in the room had trouble sorting that out and keeping that separate. Oh no, I I, I didn't. I, I have such crappy short-term memory. I, <laughs> So which one's this? I, I, which one's seriously this? from like one page to the next? I'm like, okay, wait, pr prime, and I finally said, just say new or old. Oh, uh -huh. new or old? Just new You're, Takio. You old got Takio. ahead. Of that. <laughs> then my, our uh, mind was drunk straight or zany. It was like straight. Is this straight or crazy? Straight or crazy? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was drunk or sober. <laughs> yeah, and it was a switch. And literally, my body changes. Like uh -huh. if I am the the sober one, this is like I'm very up in here and dry. Always got to lean back. Yeah. I'm always off center yeah. when I have to do that one. Yeah, so, you know, like, and like, just wanna... loud and louder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's funny now that we're talking about this because this is something that I think we've used a couple of times. Most of you are quite fond of doing some of them, some impersonations of the others. <laughs> Fred, who's your go-to? I enjoy than... my friend right here. Oh no, and I <laughs> no, I, I always I find some excuse to read one of his lines yeah. if, it's, if it's feeding into me or uh -huh. vice right. versa. It is not honorable. Yeah, no, yes. no, we, we all do And so you do, you do, yeah, right? a little, uh, yeah, Nikolai, a little drunk Russian. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember, who did you, we know you love No, I always like doing you, Craig. Yeah, and we, like, we all like doing you, Craig. We like doing Craig. We love doing you, Craig. No, as a matter of fact. I like doing Craig. Character. I, 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 I did like Dempsey just because I, a lot of times it was, uh, you know, the order sometimes, Dempsey's uh -huh. lines, and I, like you said, you'd read some of their yeah. lines. And just some of the stuff he got to say, like, just meat, and he would say that, all right, meat bag. Meat bag. Meat bag. <laughs> and now it's Steve has always been, I can't even do it. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I, I keep saying he was like born with like a lit cigar oh, in his <laughs> trachea. Yeah, he's got like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got that, that I, FM DJ yeah. shoe glass and scream yeah. at it's children. Always, yeah. It's always the joke I have about you too, because like the nicest man with like the scariest one. <laughs> yeah. I got you like a fish. Yeah, the kids and I are going to yoga camp. <laughs> you know, you know, but, but like really hardcore. You know, like, <laughs> See, that's why I always like reading your lines, because, because there's almost always something just hilariously funny. Yeah. <laughs> And, the, the, and I'm like, delicious. because talk never gets that. Yeah. Talk, talk never gets the hilarious, funny stuff. Because he's know. Mr. Serious. But then you get, <laughs> yeah. he's like, he, uh, I want to do that line. Right. This weapon has no honor. Oh, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, no pretty good. I you know, I gotta tell you something. You don't though, understand forget, something, it's forget great, about you know. what we do. We all know that you can do all of yes. this. Yes. Yes. So, uh, yes. as, as well as the writer, it should be put on record that he's when incredibly. I a, when I was a child, I had to scavenge for food. Oh, wow. Not because oh. I was hungry, but because I was greedy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, 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 was, that was where some of the best Nikolai lines were in the Stalingrad map where you were yeah. collecting so because there was also another one I remember when you get the gobble gums and Nikolai said, mm. and Russia chewing gum comes only in one flavor, wood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but like, you know what? Seriously, That's my favorite this is Would all out of your mind. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I, I we, yes. we not picture, just me, we've got We a picture you team. sitting there that happens. just laughing just, yes. Yes. just yeah. typing and laughing and, and like, just... And like, and when you're not End there, I'm like, night. Craig, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there there have been a few ones months. where a script has come in so late that, and, and I've not even been at the session. You guys are like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this this sentence doesn't even feel complete. Yeah. But my <laughs> favorite my favorite moments in the booth are when a line is funny that you've done, and I'll find some, you know, read it, do a couple takes, uh -huh. and then try to find a way that 
there's no way he ever heard it in his head this uh, way. Yeah. And see if I could get you to laugh. <laughs> yeah, and I would be sitting there, I'd say something, you'd laugh and go, that's and the you one. you could see it through the glass, him yeah. going, that's the one. We're so, going to keep that one. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, a that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Towards the end, though, we were in such a time crunch that you were probably not sleeping for weeks. And and there, never quite that bad, but it's just sustained. But, but there were, uh, there were just, occasions <laughs> where the line before I'd even get to the line, uh -huh. you'd just be giggling to yourself in the room. Yeah. So, what, what? And you go, oh, this line is so great. It's because I it's forget great. them. It I know. Like, it as was soon as they giggle. Right? But it was every yeah. single time. It was yeah. so great. The, yeah. the script for um, Alpha Omega, which was obviously the one that starred both Ultimus and Primus, you know, it's yeah. it's insane. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's like that. That, that was yeah. huge. So, I mean, that kind of brings us on to, you know, the fact that Tag Der Toten, which we've just released, is the kind of, it's the end of the line for Primus and Ultimus. Without going into no, spoilers, I can't accept that. Yeah, there's always another I need a Dempsey. job, Craig. What are you telling you, me? Well, These things happen. You know, <laughs> give give me some time. time to think. <laughs> give me some time to think. But no, it's 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 definitively you know people that saw the huge timeline of multi dimensions. These characters have been running out of road for a little while, should we say? Especially with what they're trying to do and trying to escape the cycle and everything like that. So. This, if this is truly the him. end, it, uh, it's it's one of the most bittersweet things I can I think know, of. Yeah. This has been one of my favorite jobs I've ever had. Thank and you. just this character is one of my favorites. I actually, I, one time I took my mom to a session because I had to get her to the airport. There was yeah. no time to get her back and forth. She, to this day, she answers the phone. She's like, oh, is this the doctor? <laughs> she does the voice too. Oh, that's and great. And she, it was one of the, and it was, I mean, we didn't hold back to yeah. either. Uh, no, we, we let, we're both barrels. Uh, it's kind of become a, a traditional greeting between a lot of the zombie team members when we walk past to each other in the hallway. We go, Doctor, Doctor. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, that's this is how Rick met, oh, met himself. That's great. Um, yeah, Tom, thoughts last 10 years? Well, I, you know, I, I have no, I'm not as big a part of the game industry as these guys are. Um, uh, part of it is just I don't have the, the vocal stamina to do all the screaming and dying and, and stuff. And that's kept me out of a lot of games. Um, and, but with this, I didn't care. I'm like, yeah. I, I will do this forever if they'll have me. So mm -hmm. thank you. Yeah, every, every time, like you said, Nolan, I, I remember when we, we got to the end of, it would have been Revelations, I guess. And I was like, you're like, so when are we back? And I was like, I don't know. And you were like, when are we back? I'm like, I don't know. And you were like, can you just send me some lines yeah. so that I can at least keep the character alive? Yeah, and, and you know, and, yeah. and it's important to, to, you know, everybody's working. It's like, it's fine, but this is one of those jobs that you're like, mm. uh, doing this has been so much fun. Oh, yeah. I mean, it really, really has. I mean, in a perfect world, we'd all be in a room together. I mean, yeah. but I don't yeah. know if we'd ever get anything we done. We probably wouldn't. No. <laughs> It'd be like this. It would exactly yeah. be like this. But, but it was, it has truly been a privilege and an honor an to honor. be part of this because it's just, Become. You know, I love the fact that it was just this the, the little yep. little engine that could. You know that yep. yeah. it wasn't even an engine. It was just the caboose that somebody yeah. threw on in the game. <laughs> fun and this will be fun. This will be fun for yeah. a game. You know. <laughs> you know. It's like yeah, hands it's the trail. Weird I just. I don't want game. to do this voice in any other place. Okay. No. How, how yeah. about every like three months, whether we need to or not, we just go to a restaurant and. Just be our characters and him, and people will be go. What the hell? Let's just come back here and have <laughs> good <laughs> food here. Hold on, I'm actually into that. It really, it's <laughs> a great idea. That would I definitely, think, go. That would definitely walk. walk. There have been very, very few projects that I've been willing to scream at this level, uh, yeah. extended yeah. for yeah. for not just. And that was just because you were angry at me. Just because no I was angry at you, yeah. <laughs> but there, but there's a purpose to everything that we did in this, yep. and it and it played. It played so well, and there was so much heart to it, even That's in right. the most ridiculous moments. Yeah. And oh, it's there's just, been it, many. Yeah, there have been many. But I think that's what made it so great for fans. Is there was something for everybody. There was yeah. something yeah. for everybody. And then we see a, a moment like that where, where you're facing your own mortality. I hadn't seen that until no, today. No, I didn't either. And it kind of broke me. Yeah. It was really hard yeah. for me to speak after that. I care about these <laughs> characters, true. and I'm not yeah. even a player. Yeah, so, we care. You end yeah. up caring about the characters. Yeah. What yeah. happens, and the fans do too. So it's it has been a huge, a huge honor, and uh, it's. Um, yeah, it, get, it runs deep. We would have done anything. We'd do anything oh, in this yeah. game. You know and, what I mean? And, like, and yeah. seriously, and seriously, thank you to yeah. you. You you, yeah. you put you you created this world. You these, say these it's guys. a whole team. It's a whole <laughs> no, team. But, but, well, no, but, but it, 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 you know, each of us have our own little 
craziness. The, uh, all, all of them are all. in your head. Yeah, which you, is said, terrifying. you said that yeah. to me when Layers. Fact, the last time somebody time. <laughs> said, We are all living inside your head. Yeah. We all occupy rental space and there's yeah. nothing you can do about it. It's yeah. terrifying. Well, guys, thank you so much. Oh, uh, this you. has been a lot of fun. Is there anything you want to say just to the fans as we wrap up and bid our fond farewells? Oh, man. I just want to say thank you so much to all of you who have played and been part of our world. You have suffered and rejoiced with us. Thank you for sharing vodka. Thank you for fighting so well. And may goodness be to your soul. Das Vidanya. You fight like good Russian bear. You know, uh, over 10 years this has become part of our lives. And uh, thanks for letting us be part of yours. I didn't know you were going to do that. No. I know. <laughs> I thought we were doing characters. Oh, Beautiful. I, yes, thank you so much for uh, letting us into your homes. Uh, the crazy uh, characters we have and, and, and the, you know, ultimus, whichever ones they are. <laughs> but uh, we really appreciate it. It's been an absolute blast. And the doctor finds you all delicious. And one last thing, I hate you, Dempsey. <laughs> Thanks for letting me scream at you for 10 years, gutbags! You really? see what I mean? He's just abhorrible. It's hard to scream when I'm crying. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Thank you guys for an amazing journey. And uh, I guess for the last time, hoorah. Thank you for joining us today. I uh, really hope you enjoyed getting some insight from our beloved cast. Uh, Thank you so much again for staying with us over these last 10 years. And whatever the future may bring, we look forward to seeing you there. Thank you. <laughs>